Hey there everyone, this is Chef MKT, and welcome back to Let's Play this game. Ugh, okay, hey, it's Bajilly Mouse goes, and hey guys, how's it going? Okay, go away. Alright, let's go do this. <laughs> okay, so, let's go take on some quests, shall we? Now, I won't do all of them, okay? Because that is just going to take way too long, and I don't feel like recording all of them. So I can just give you some basic strategies on the ones that I don't cover. And most of them are going to be the same strategy, except that it's for a different character. Okay. So, the first quests we have here are Cerno. Um, then we have Byakaran. And then we have Litos. Okay. The Cerno one, not very difficult at all. So I'm going to do the Byakaran one in this set. Okay. Don't fret, I'll quickly go over my Cerno strategy. First things first. This is Cerno's, um, quotation mark, 6.5 tier weapon. End quotation mark. Okay. This weapon you can make using the Ostracon. So, you only need, like, one Cerno crafting iron for that. So that gives you a nice building block in order to do Cerno's quest. Okay, so then all you need to do is make the anti-fire robe as you can see here star resistance to fire so you know fairly standard there that's to neutralize her um fire resistance because if i take this part off and this and this and this her fire resistance is well a skull and you don't want that so if you use the fire, star resistance to fire you neutralize it and then the basic strategy is high ribbon and the star resistant accessories, you'll be taking like no damage whatsoever. Okay. Two, well, if you don't have those equipments and you're like early in the expansion, you can get away with whatever you can get. Just like put whatever resistances you can put on. Because the next part of the um, strategy involves this. You need this right here. If you're using like lower equips and stuff, you definitely need to bring this. This is Cerno's counter. What you do, first turn, you activate it. And on that same turn, you use your commander bomb. Which commander? Well, I'll leave that up to you, but I'll tell you what I use. Okay? So you put on this, and then if you really need to, you also put on the magic reflect. And then from there, you just spam whatever full screens you have. Okay? As for skill trees, you need to change it up, okay? The most important one is this skill tree here, because... Cerno gets basically 100 HP regen per turn in um, wa a water manipulated land. So, if you add up all that, you have Cerno countering basically every attack the fairy hits her with. And it counters with ice. So that manipulates for ice right there. Second, if you bring in Romilia as your commander, your Cerno will not die. Because 1. Cerno will counter after every attack, so she'll be able to actually heal HP. And then at the end of the turn, she'll also have a, the, um, war, the ice regeneration from the land manipulation that you did with the ice counter. So that's all you need to do, really. So you just put in Cerno, then put in Romilia as your commander, then you're set to go. Now. This one right here, the Byakran quest, is different, so to speak. So I'm going to bring a Romilia for this one too. Okay, if you look at the bullets aboard, you have Byakran. You need to go to stage uh, 14. It says bring in Byakran. However, you can only use a weapon. So that's a thing. You cannot equip armors, you cannot equip shields, you cannot equip accessories. The only thing you can bring in is a weapon and a commander. That is all. Now you're thinking, how the hell are you supposed to do this? That's ridiculous. Well, if you happen to have one of these, it's a plasma knife. You get it from stage 21 from one of the mobs. I forget which one, but you can probably look it up on the Japanese wiki. It gives you 35% additional lightning damage. That's cool. As for skill trees, you need to bring in 20 points into your buffing skill tree. 
you need to bring in, well, as many points as possible into your dagger skill tree. I put in 20 here because you don't need this last attack. And then that's all you really need. You don't really need anything else, but I just put in like 10 points into strength to get more damage. Then, you know, I just points it here, get like plus 10 status resist and things like that. Plus 10 status resist here again. However, if you don't have the plasma knife, there is an alternative. Remember that I killed 10,000 enemies and you got some new weapons and stuff? You can make this weapon. This gives you plus 25% additional damage for ice and lightning. So that's your alternative. If you can't make this, then I can't help you. I really can't. You really need a good dagger for this um, quest. So, that's all settled. Let's go. So here we are in stage... Was it 14 or 15 I said? I don't know, but I'm pretty sure... Yeah, stage 14, my bad. I, did I say stage 15 last... before? I don't know. Now I'm going to feel really stupid if I did say stage 15, because now I'm going to feel very bad. <laughs> so yeah. We just need to go to stage 14, and you want to go through this way. You don't want to go through the shortcut way, because the enemy is not anywhere near there. Trust me on that. Okay, so we're at the sa safe point here. Then we go up. Here we fought Iku from way, way before, like a couple hundred hours ago or so. Hey there, guy. Come here. You, you, come here. Because I really don't want to encounter anything for just a Byakuren and a weapon. You know what I mean? Yeah, you know what I mean. Okay, so... Here we are. Oh, crap, run. Ugh. Don't want to run into Cracker Magicians of all things here. Because those things are dangerous. Right to you. Run around you. Reset. Spawning positions. Okay. So you're not down here. Are you in this room? Possibly. I don't know. I can't see from up here. Get away from me. Get up. I don't think it's up there. Let me take a closer look. Yeah, oh, it's up there, it's definitely up there. Ignore that! <laughs> um, yeah, I'll tell you exactly what that was all about a little bit later. Sorry for that. Um, yeah, anyway, so Bjarkran is going to fight this SD card thing. It's weak to lightning, obviously. It's immune to light and dark attacks, so you can't use any of Bjarkran's spells. So, you know, that's why you have to bring him a dagger. So, first things first. It can paralyze you. It can cause exclusion. If you get excluded, that's game over right there. So what you need to do is up, up your status resistance on yourself. That is the absolute first thing you must do. Now I turned off the animations, didn't I? Hang on, let me let me let me let me reset. Turn on all the animations back on and so on. Oh my god, I am so unprepared for this recording. I'm sorry, folks. I'm very please, please. I really do sincerely. I honestly apologize for this lack of perfect. P -p 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 professionalism yeah <laughs> yeah I'm I should have just record this again but you know what I'm not going to because that's the way I am I only do this in one take well try to do it unless it's really really bad then I'll be forced to do a second take but those are on rare occasions anyway status resist up on Biakran that is the most important thing because if you don't do it you're going to die next if you take damage you need to bring in this attack here. I think you get this at like 13 skill points into your dagger skill tree. It just attacks twice. Okay? Anyway. Since I took one damage, I'm going to use this opportunity to use Weapon Bless to increase my damage further. Okay, now he hit me. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the Remilia 1 Commander Bomb to increase my HP draining capabilities. Coupled with the dagger. Bang bang, now I'm fully recovered, and now it's just a seesaw battle, so I'm just going to do it again and again, until he stops attacking me. If he stops attacking you and does try to inflict a status effect, that's not it. Anyway, if you find an opportunity, like, see he missed me right there, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to enchant lightning on myself. This, this will completely increase my damage on this guy. So as you can see there, if you didn't have status resist up, you would have likely lost by now. Anyway, so, and, yeah, that's done. There we go. See, that wasn't that hard, it's just that, one, you have to know that you can only use a weapon, and two, you have to know how to deal with all the things that this thing does. So that's that one done.
that's probably the hardest one out of all the characters, I think. So we go to the Arkham Crafting item. That's pretty great. Now I need to get out of this place. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut the video right here, and then I'll be back at the shrine. So give me one second while I go do that. Okay, folks, I'm back. Alrighty, so what do we have next on our list? We have Ryson, Romelia, and Yugi. Okay. Well, Ryson I've showed you already. That's in stage 10. Oh, sorry, stage 9 on the right path. You can bring in one extra character. So that's very easy. You just bring in Saki, Private Square, blah, 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 blah. Romelia and Yugi, slightly harder. As you can see, the five stars. I'll show you Romelia because it's quicker. And both of these you need to solo. Okay. So, yeah, basic strategy is... Oh, wait, Romelia. Blank and probably bring in Yomo. Equipment-wise... Um, Cerno, hey, give me all my stuff back. Thank you. As you can see here, my Romelia already has an 8th tier weapon, but... Just pretend I don't, okay? You can use a gun near, just use any spear weapon that you have that has a high attack power. If it is Romelia's unique weapon, you probably need to bring in the plus 60 accuracy, because you do. Anyway, so what you need to bring in is possibly the high ribbon. And, um, yeah. And star resistance in the free weapon attributes because I don't think there are any ma um, elemental attacks whatsoever that you need to face. And besides, you still have circle resistance in the four basic elements, so whatever. So there's that settled. Okay, so let's go. Oh, before I forget, Yugi is a little bit difficult because the, the dude that you're fighting is fairly hard, but if you have the star resistance accessories, like this one and the other one, and the high ribbon, you should be fine. But what I prefer to do is bring in this accessory, so it gives you... No, wait. Hang on. I'll show you my Yugi setup, because people are going to be paranoid, because <laughs> I'm not going to show you that one, because it's fairly easy. See, what I do... Get an, get an armor that gives you resistance to blunt, like this one, for example. That gives you that, okay? So what you then do is protect yourself against at least paralysis. So you get your accessory that gives you immunity to paralysis or resistance. So it should look something like this. Use either this or the high ribbon. Put that on. Then you have an extra slot left. I suggest... I highly recommend that you bring in plus 5 bombs. Because this dude can debuff your attack power, and if that happens, you might run out of bombs. So there's that. So that gives you two slots. That's two slots right there. So you have one extra one to play with. You have two choices. You can either bring in an anti-earth accessory, or you can bring in something to boost your attack. Either one is fine. As for weapons, if you have the Kusanagi sword, Please use that. Where's the Kusanagi sword? I don't know. Whatever. Damn it, IRC. Ugh, sorry, guys. Anyway. Bring in something like the Kusanagi sword. Or, if you have access to it... Where's weapons? Here it is. Is it this thing? No. This thing. No. Ugh, anyway. If you have the Kusanagi sword, bring it. Either that, or use a weapon that has a slay effect against giants, like this one here. This is for giants, okay? So if you have a, if you have a weapon that has a slay effect against this, you're good to go. Does this one have it? No, it doesn't. Yeah, so I'd, I'd highly recommend the Kusanaki Sword. If you don't have it, then I don't know what you're going to do, man. Anyway, so for Yugi, you just need to go to that stage there. That stage there. Find the guy and beat him down. If you have knockout and free step, use it. Otherwise, use Raging Demon. As for your commander, you have two choices. Sane or... Actually, Sane, Remilia, or Yomu. I prefer Yomu because the chances of you getting a crit is really damn high if you use it with Yomu. And not only that, you actually make the battle like twice as fast. So why the hell not? Anyway, did I actually accept... Yeah, I did accept the... Um, quest for this place. Okay, so 
Full Romelia, stage 20. Oh, skill trees, blah 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 blah. This, and this, and this for more attack power, strength, blah 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 blah. Okay. It, full room early, it's in one of two rooms. It's in this room or the room on the left. So if you don't see the guy immediately, it's in the other room. That's all you need to do. There you are. So it's just two guys. This guy is weak to pierce attacks. This guy has high evasion. That's all, that's about it really. So you have my commander bomb, let's go. If you have it, use this attack because it has a large attack power. If not, you're stuck with race car. Simple as that. So I have access to this. Let's use it. I think it's called Scarlet Monster. Okay, got the crit off. Yeah, he's pretty much dead. As you can see, that guy uses tentacles. You don't want to get hit by that. And if, even if you do, you have the um, anti blunt accessory thingy. So you should be fine. Now this guy has really high aversion, so what you need to do is use this attack here. This attack has a high accuracy or slash hit rate, so use that. Use it on this guy, you should be able to hit it. And you're done. So yeah, Vermilia quest, very simple. Alrighty, done. Let's get the hell out of here. Uh oh, need to get out of this place alive, that will help a lot. Okay, so I'm going to cut back to the shrine. Alrighty, I'm back at the shrine. Let's look at the next set of quests we have access to. Ramu, we've already done. Marissa and... Uh, Notori, Aya and Sane. That's right. Okay, this quest here, I'm not going to do. It's very simple, okay? Basically, these guys are weak to water and earth, and there's three of them. So all you need to do, Sane, buff up your defenses, buff up your attack. Notori buff up, uh, sorry, not buff up, enchant Nitori with water or earth, I just use water myself, and then on the next turn you use her 25 gunpoint skill, it should have zero turn cooldown if you have your skills right, and then you just spam it. Aya, she can just sit there and do nothing, you don't need her, but if you want to use her, go ahead and use her, doesn't matter. Very simple, and if you're wondering, they're in the, um, they're near the end of stage, what was it, 11? Yeah, they're near the end of stage 11, so what you do, you go to stage 10, no sorry, stage 11, Yorkai Mountain, take the shortcut all the way up, so you're at the end of stage 11, and just work backwards, you should find them eventually. 